Hi you guys, Dawn from Blogging Mama 4 and Family That Games. I wanted to do a quick little video um, showing you easy uh, tips, uh, easy makeup tips for sensitive skin. Now I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a health professional, um, I'm just going to tell you what I use for my skin. I have very sensitive skin, anything that I seem to use um, really uh, makes my face itchy, especially around my eyes. Um, and in here I get really dry, um, dry spots. So, um, and my lips, I, I get really irritated um, skin around my lips if I use anything other than, um, you know, the, the most gentle products. So, um, so that's what I'm going to show you today, what my skincare routine is. And as you can see, I have a little shadow dog. Is she named Rosie? Say hi, Rosie. She follows me everywhere. So, she, I guess she's going to stay put for the video today. So, okay, so to get started, what I usually do for my sensitive skin, um, I don't use any special um, facial moisturizer. I use Vanna Cream. Now, I'm not sponsored by Vanna Cream, um, but this is what works for my skin. It's a sensitive um, skin type moisturizing cream. I use this on my face. Okay. I use it everywhere, but I can use it on my face. I just put a little bit of this moisturizer. Um, I use the light um, during the summer months and, you know, the when my skin doesn't need that full moisture. And then I use the, um, the heavier cream during the winter months. So I take a little bit of this cream. And I've already done this this morning, so sorry, I'm not going to repeat it. But a little bit of this cream. And honestly, I put one drop of frankincense oil. This is um, a bottle from doTERRA. I use doTERRA. I use Young Living. I just happen to have a bottle of um, doTERRA in my cabinet. So I use one drop of frankincense um, and I rub that all together. rub it all over my face. I don't go in the eye area. Um, you can use just plain Vanna cream um, around the eye area without the frankincense. Now speaking of my eyes, if I'm feeling like I'm having more of an allergic reaction, I put one drop of lavender, and again this is Young Living, I put one drop of lavender or I'll just stick my finger right on the top here and get enough oil and then I just gently rub below my eyes. Okay, so that's all that um, you know, I need for that. It's, it's like that helps just with a little bit of any kind of, um, I don't know if it's an allergic reaction or any reaction that you're getting itchy eyes, watery eyes, whatever that lavender will help. So that's awesome. And then recently I've also started using the Yarrow Palm. Um, this one is from doTERRA and this, um, is amazing. And again, I'm going to tell you, I'm not a dermatologist. Um, I'm not a health professional. This is just what I do for my skincare. Um, it helps, you know, me anyway with as getting older, like the the under eye, um, and then my neck. Um, I lost a lot of weight, so tightening up this neck skin um, has been a challenge. But that's why I use this Yarrow Palm, um, and it's been great for that. It's very um, it's blue, so I feel like I'm a Smurf when I put it on. And it's kind of sticky. So it's thick and sticky, but um, that's what I rub on my skin. Now I know some people, I'm just going to add a little bit more to my neck. Some people use it um, with their moisturizer. So you could put this um, in your moisturizer and rub it all over. But that's it for moisturizer. That's all I do for moisturizing. Um, so then to get on with um, makeup, I'm a busy mom, like we all are, and um, I need something that I can put on quickly and that it's going to last all day, um, and not, I don't like heavy makeup. I don't like the feel of a liquid foundation, so I use powder, um, and I also um, use Young Living for my um, all of my makeup, which I find is great for my skin. Um, you don't have to use Young Living. Um, before Young Living, I used um, Bare Essentials. So that's another product that I have used and has done really great for my skin. But since um, since I'm buying more oils with Young Living, um, I decided to switch my makeup over to Young Living, and it's been great. So the big trip trick for me is using um, 
the Savvy Minerals Misting Spray. You don't have to use the Young Living Misting Spray. I know that other brands carry a similar type product, so um, you know you wouldn't have to do that. So this is the um, Young Minerals Foundation, and it comes in the powder. It's always hard to see if you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tap some out in the lid. And again, you can't really, oh, there we go. I don't use a whole lot. Um, and then I've got this big brush from e.l.f. It was um, relatively inexpensive. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my misting spray and I'm just gonna lightly mist the brush, swirl this around in here, and then just apply it. I like to apply it to my nose uh, first, just to get, ooh, my hair's going all over, just to get those spots that I need coverage more. Um, and I, there's no, as you can see, there's no like real great application method. I just get it all on there. There's a little bit more in my cap, so I'm just gonna keep applying. Now, if you want a more full coverage, you can apply another layer. Um, I usually only apply one layer unless I've got some trouble spots. Um, and then what you can do is take a different brush. Like let's say you know I want to use the um, something more like this. I can spray that down and then use that to touch up too. So like under these eyes. Looks like I haven't slept at all. And why do women open their mouth to get their face, or you know, to get their face contortioned so you can put makeup on? I don't know. The world may never know. Actually, maybe there was a study on it. Who knows? Okay, so um, you can do that. Um, if you want another layer, um, you know, more full coverage, um, on with your foundation you can put it on again you wouldn't have to do the misting spray again um, but you can for fuller coverage just wait until um, the first layer dries before you put another layer on and then I follow it by the um, the this one's the Young Living Veil but I know that um, Bare Essentials has this one too so this is just a matte oh my light is just gonna there we go this one's just the matte um, mineral veil by Young Living Savvy, Savvy, um, Savvy Minerals. And again, I do the same thing. I just tap it in here. And then I do not spray my brush this time. I just swirl it. And then you can pat it. Or you can just brush it on like I did before with the other one. And this just helps with um, setting your makeup and, um, and reducing that shine. So there's my um, base foundation. Okay, the next step is going to be the um, the blush. This one is just a Bare Minerals brush. I like using the mineral type blushes. I'm sorry if you hear my doggy rooting around. She's found a treat. Um, I have a little bit of blush right in here, so I'm just gonna swirl it in here and then swirl it in here. Otherwise, I would just tap it off. Sometimes I find that my brush still has enough blush on it that I don't even have to re, um, you know, go into the to this for for more blush. So I'm just gonna apply that, and I usually just apply it to my the apples. Like if you smile, you get the apples. And it's really hard to tell down here if I have enough on. I might come out looking like a clown. But in this lighting, I'm just not sure if I have enough. So there's my blush. And um, so I could just be done for the day. Like I, this could be my look and I could be out the door. Um, without having, like without going through it and explaining it, this takes me very minimal time to put on um, and be ready for the day. So again, I use the, the misting spray and then the foundation, the mineral veil and the blush and I'm out the door. Um, the other thing, like if you wanted to do your mascara and do other things, um, the misting spray also works really well on like these little brushes for, um, eyeliner. You just spray the end of the tip, 
dip it in your powdered eyeliner and it looks um, it goes on a lot darker a lot fuller so I'm not gonna go for um, for eyeliner today but I am gonna put on mascara I use again the savvy minerals um, from young living um, it is the only mascara that has worked really well for my um, itchy dry eyes um, with having sensitive skin and, and sensitive eyes to makeup um, mascara is one of the worst because you know when you're when it's that close to your eyes it's itchy 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 but Savvy Minerals by Young Living has um, done really great for me um, I have used CoverGirl in the past like CoverGirl has done okay too um, but I find what the essential oils that they add to Savvy Minerals um, has really worked wonders for me. So, so that's that. Um, the other thing, other tip, is just a good um, lash curler. Um, these help, even if you're going to go out without mascara, you can curl your lashes and then just put a little bit of Vaseline and kind of get your you know lashes a little bit darker. Um, that helps out a ton. Um, I don't wear a lot of lipsticks. Um, but even a little lip balm and you're good to go. So, um, but I'm going to try to attempt to put on this mascara. Okay, so I put my mascara on and I am ready to go. So this is a very quick and easy basic uh, makeup tutorial for anyone um, and especially for those that have sensitive skin or um, a busy mom like me um, who just needs something on their face and then to run out the door. Hope you got some great tips from this, and if you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. Thanks, guys. Bye.